What's up, Broadway fans? We are live at 5. It is Tuesday, April 10th, they tell me. My name is Paul Wontorek. And my name is Ryan Lee Gilbert. It's good to know your name, finally. Yeah, finally. We are joined by social media manager, Caitlin Gallup. Hello, everyone. Caitlin with a Y, for yes. those of you keeping track. With a Y. Right. Um, and we one of our favorite people is here, because we've just been laughing right before we went on the air. Somebody who, you know, just can't stay away from the Broadway.com studios. We have Jackie Burns from Wicked Yay, is here. Yay, Alphabet in the house. Woo! I mean, when so Alphabet's excited. here, it's a big deal. Yeah, absolutely, it is. Um, and, but, but we're going to get to Jackie first. We're going to do today's top five. All right. So we got some really great casting for Annie at the Muni, and y'all just aren't already. Yeah, this is two of the funniest Tony nominees ever. You have Jennifer Samard wow. and Christopher Sieber wow. are both doing Annie. You have Jennifer Samard is going playing to be playing Annie. Miss Hannigan. Oh, she Molly. Yeah. She's, yeah. Molly. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> Molly. No, she's Miss Hannigan, of course. And Christopher Sieber is reprising his turn. He's played Daddy Warbucks before. He did it at Paper Mill Playhouse. Yes. He's playing Daddy Warbucks. Opposite Beth Level. Ap right. Opposite Beth Level. Right. He's so doing he it gets the... very funny ladies to do this yes. one. Yes. So they're doing this at the Muni uh, in St. Louis, of course. It's going to be directed by Avenue Q Tom and Tony nominee John Tartaglia. Go which John is Tartaglia. Super He's awesome. turning into a director. He is a I very love that. yes, very gifted. And choreography by Jessica Hartman. This will happen at the Muni from July 18th to the 25th. But I just want to recap, Caitlin and I were talking about this Muni season. I think they're celebrating 100 years, right? I think yeah. what? It's, yeah. it's 100 it's years. It's an incredible season. Has we, theater been around for a hundred years? You know, you wouldn't know <laughs> Any it. Theater? But, it, yeah. but like we already have Beth Level. Speaking of Beth Level, mm -hmm. she's going to What's do Gypsy, which we knew about. And then you have Rob McClure doing Jerome Robbins' oh, Broadway. Oh my God, wait, we're moving to St. Louis I this know. summer. Right? Nathan, we're, this is an official announcement. Nathan Lee Graham. <laughs> Broadway.com from St. Louis. <laughs> Nathan Lee Graham doing The Wiz and Corbin Blue doing Singing in the Rain. That's a nuts o muni season. That's, That's crazy. Insane. That's crazy. Let's just relocate the offices, please. Like that? For yeah. one I just summer. want to go there top once. Of the but now how am I going to pick out of all those shows which one to go you have to, to. You have to. You have to go back and forth. There's no Just, Metro North there. You have to fly. <laughs> there is not. You have to fly every time. They have Amtrak. Charge it. It's not that great, but it's expensive. All right. We also found out, so Kennedy Center announced their Broadway series for next year. So this is the new thing. <laughs> <laughs> It's the new thing we have to cover now. The Kennedy Center has a Broadway series. It I does, saw yeah. In the Heights there. It was fantastic. Chess. What else did I see there? Chess. 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 And then they're doing How to Succeed. We don't know who's in it yet. Right. But that's happening Can't in wait. early June. Uh, but now they've already announced like it's going to keep happening. Yeah. So this is the thing. Uh, and Norm Lewis oh God, so will play, <laughs> will play <laughs> Harold Hill uh, in... Um, in uh, the what's music that show man. called? The Music, music Man. man. <laughs> like I'm, I just, I love this. I love this idea. <laughs> you got, you had a, such an emotional reaction to this news. <laughs> I love the um, Music Man. That will happen. That's a Meredith Wilson show, by the way. That'll happen in February, February sixth through the tenth. Before that. Crazy. We will see um, Little Shop of Horrors, everyone's Another favorite Another amazing, amazing musical. show. Kennedy uh, that's going to happen it. October 24th through the 28th. Let's right, start right before Halloween. that. Right before Halloween. I mean, yeah, like... Yeah, Jackie Burns Jackie is Burns volunteering. Just her hand. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, there's such a list of people I want to see I know, play, I know. play Audrey. Um, and, uh, and, the who, and the Who's Tommy, right. which is another crazy, show that I feel like we've been cool waiting, show. which Jackie Burns also would like to be in. Absolutely. I think Jackie We're Burns just would like Jackie to just Burns do the season. lots of jobs. <laughs> She's in. Uh, the Who's variant. Tommy will play April 24th to the 28th. This is a musical we've been waiting for I a Broadway return for Tommy, yeah. haven't we? I yeah, mean, absolutely we yeah. have. I think it was on our list of what ones we'd like to see again, come back. Maybe that's why they're doing it. You because know what? Of the You're welcome, Kennedy Senator. Results. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so the number three story of the day is that the musical Carmen Jones is returning to New York. Yeah. Okay, I love this show too, well, by the I was way. Gonna Keep say, going, just go. No, so just this go. Is, you do your thing. This is what we know. So Carmen Jones hasn't been here since its Broadway debut. It's been that long since the show's been here. It's coming back 1943. to... It's coming back to the New York, a New York stage. It's coming to the classic stage company. John Doyle will be directing Anika Noni Rose. Tony now, can winner I for Carolina what Carmen Change. Jones is? I'd love you to. Because I could just <laughs> read the description here, but that would be very boring. Well, there's the opera Carmen. 
Yes. With the score yep. by, how do you say it? Bizet? George Bizet? Bizet? Uh, yes. And by the way, yep. you know the music to Carmen, even if you don't think you do. Right. Like, it's one of those scores that when you hear it, you go like, I know this song. I know this song. You don't know why you know it. So right. what happened was Oscar Hammerstein, who is, of, of course, amazing, as in Roger Hammerstein, he took that opera music and then wrote, you know, English lyrics on top of it okay. and turned it into more of a musical gotcha. instead of All an right. opera. But the music is gorgeous. Yeah. Like, so I got obsessed with the, one of the cast albums like years ago. Um, and now John Doyle yeah. is bringing it. Artistic director of CSC. That's where it's happening. Yeah. It will happen. It will begin June 8th this Wait, summer. Wait, did we say who's in it? Anika Noni oh, I'm sorry. Anika Noni <laughs> Rose. I totally <laughs> yeah. got so excited about no, but, she's but that's amazing. exciting too that's because we haven't so seen amazing. her. Uh, Raisin in the no, uh, Raisin in the Sun was Carolina last. Carolina Chains? Was that her last? Yeah, what she won I mean, her she, Tony for. I mean, she was so in the Dream was Girls incredible. movie. Yes, yes. that was a big gig. But <laughs> no, yeah, and so yeah, John Doyle directing. Sorry, June 8th it begins. It'll open on June 27th, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be amazing. I'm Can't into wait. it. Don't disappoint me, people. <laughs> I, hope, I just hope that there's like a chair involved somewhere in the production because John Doyle. Um, okay. And oh, final. Okay. All right. Not finally. We still have one more thing. But after Live at Five yesterday, we found out that Frozen is releasing a cast recording because, of course. What? <laughs> like, who knew this was going to happen? <laughs> this is, it's your story. I know it's my story, but we talked about this last week yeah, because a yeah, fan, but John Riddle was here and a fan asked if there'd be yep. a cast album. And he was like, I don't know if I could say. Yeah. And I was like, it's Frozen. <laughs> it has Let It Go on it. It has yeah. an amazing cast. There's yeah. new songs by Oscar winners, mm -hmm. Kristen Anderson Lopez and Bobby Lopez, or Robert, Youngest if you don't know him as well. Ever. And so they, are, of course, are making a cast album. Of course. And we've been watching on social media, and the cast has been in the studio the last couple days. Yes, I love Patty Posting Patty adorable Muren's things. Pick. She was so, like that classic pick of recording the album in a studio. It's yeah. really coming. It's, of Yay, course it's Frozen coming. cast album. You knew it was coming. So we don't know when it's coming out, do no. we? No, I think they're no, going to keep teasing. Using that, yeah. It's, it'll, Soonish. It'll be digital download, and then we'll be able to buy it. I have a feeling yes. Tony, nom, Tony voters will probably get copies that's, before the rest of that's us. That's a good calendar. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good yeah, guess. Later this spring. That means Tony season. Um, all right, and last but not least, well, there's a new star and waitress tonight. Yes, Catherine McPhee makes her long-awaited Broadway debut this evening at the Brooks Atkinson Theater in Waitress. She's, of course, playing Jenna. Uh, that's tonight. She will be playing a limited engagement. We'll see. Limited engagement <laughs> through June seventeenth. That's what where we'll the, see, man. I mean, you never know. They they love to extend. You know, like they're like, oh, I love this show. Who knows? But right as of now, did she's I tell there. you I'm going to see it tonight? You are seeing. I'm going to watch tonight. the first performance. Look at that. The spoils. Yeah. <laughs> I'm excited. I'm going to cheer her on. I'm, I, I'm so excited, too. I can't wait to see her. She obviously succeeds Stephanie Torns, who's been playing the role full time since Sarah Bareilles. She was here a couple weeks ago. She was She's just, and I so gushed, much fun. sat in that seat and gushed. She was amazing. And yeah. then, uh, yeah, so, and then there's a little P.S. Is that true? That's what? Is tonight the opening night of Miss You Like Hell? Yes. The Daphne Rubin Vega musical. Yes. Hello. <laughs> Speaking and of people I love, other than Jackie Burns, <laughs> Daphne Rubin Vega know, people yes. is in a new musical at the Public Theater. And it opens tonight, and they just announced they're extending it. Before an opening, they extended it. Yeah, they're extending it through May 13th. It's and I'm going sign. tomorrow. So anyway, now you know my theater schedule. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to know where you can stop by and say hello to Paul, you know where he'll be. Yeah, so anyway, I know you're jealous I'm seeing Waitress tonight. I'm because you do jealous. love the Waitress. I love that show. But um, you need to leave. I know, I do. Jackie this, this Burns is, is here. Jackie Burns is. I've Caitlin, just been, yes. why don't you tell us more about Ms. Burns? All right, I would love to. <laughs> Um, Jackie Burns is thrilled to return to Oz after traveling the country as Elizabeth in the national tour of If Then. She's honored to be Broadway's longest running Alphaba. Um, she has also played in the national tour where her performance was nominated for an Irene Award. Other Broadway credits include the Tony winning revival of Hair, If Then, and like... I don't know, every single greatest show you've ever seen, like off Broadway as well. Um, follow all of her adventures on social media, like you don't already, at Jackie Burns NYC. Start leaving your comments and questions down below because we know you have questions about Wicked. Um, and please welcome Paul and Jackie. Hi, Jackie Burns. Hey. Wait, was there already a Jackie Burns when you joined social media? Because you had to become NYC. Yeah. Okay. Who's that person? I don't know. Hey, shout out. <laughs> shout out to the other Jackie Burns. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how you doing? Good name. I'm good. I love when you're here. Thank there's a lot you. of joy. There's a lot of laughter during the news, which is great. <laughs> it was really funny. Usually, the studio audience so is cute. very quiet. No, I loved it. Um, you're hey, you're Alphaba. I know. And I just heard that you're the longest running Alphaba. Is that truth or? 
That is actually true. Whoa. I know, right? Yeah. That's amazing. Isn't that crazy? So the, and this is your second uh This is my second time at the stint. Gershwin. And the yeah, stint. at the Gersh. And when the Gersh. Yeah. Uh, and when you finished the first stint, yes. did you imagine a second stint? No. I just like saying that word. No. You like <laughs> you stint. Did. I did not. No, I, I, I and, really did. I remember didn't. you said like when you got the call, it was kinda like, oh, oh. I yeah, I was like Let me reconfigure. Hold recalibrate. on, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm so glad I did. Yeah. I'm having so much fun this time. I, not that I didn't have fun the last time, but uh -huh. like yeah. this time is like especially fun. Well, what I've heard you say is that now you can enjoy it. Yes. The pressure, mm. like you kind of know you can do it. Yeah. And you can sort of like have a life and, and be amazing on stage and balance it. Better. Yeah. 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 And then I think the first time it was like, you know, you felt like you had something to prove. I don't know right. why. I mean, now it's like, well, you know, it's right. like. This is the show. I want to do the show rather than be like, look, I'm a good alpha. You know, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like sometimes yeah. we get a little like in our heads as we You're do as a actors. You're fantastic alpha. Bar. Thanks, dude. But and yeah, it's 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 so much more fun this time. Something I've heard from many actresses um, playing Alphaba and Glenda. There's so many actors that have done it, obviously, now yeah. over the years. And and who also have played it at different points in their life. Like, you know, a lot of people started on the tour. Yeah. And they get to do it on Broadway. Yeah. Uh, that's true of your Glenda, who we love. Who's that? Oh God. I'm managing Cooper. Cutest love her woman too. ever. Um, and so and what, what I love, to, when I interview actresses playing these roles, they, they talk about that, how sort of... When they when they get the roles at a different point in their life, how, how different the experience is, and how they get to sort of like oh, yeah. revisit it from a different angle. Absolutely, it's so funny because Amanda Jane and I actually did it on tour six oh, years right. ago. I was her first Alphaba. That's right. We did it for like six weeks. Right. And uh, it was so crazy to be like full. And she actually knew she was coming to Broadway, and I did too. Um, but I didn't know I was coming, and I was so excited for her. And it was, you know, we were texting, and she was like, "Do you think you'd want to come back and, and be my Elva?" And I was like, "Oh, that's so cute." And, and then I was like, "Wait, do you know something I don't know?" And she was like, <laughs> "No, no, no." She was like, "I just would love it if you were my Elva." Right, right. And I was and like, "Oh, okay." And then like literally a day later, I got the call, and I was like, "Are you sure you didn't know that?" So she secreted it hard. Thanks. She secreted it. Thanks. I love that. Thanks, Amanda Jane. Um, <laughs> I've said this before, but I first um, loved you when I saw hair. Thanks. Because you were that's in the ensemble. We had our, but that's when we had our love fest. I was on Show People, and it was so fun. Well, not then, but like. Yeah, but we, 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 she's been on Show People. You can check that episode out. It's it was so fun. It's a classic. It's a classic. Episode <laughs> of Show People. Uh, <laughs> it's one of the classics. Um, but I remember, you know, what I, you see certain shows, like I just saw um, Mean Girls, and there was one girl in the ensemble that really, like, I was paying attention to the whole time. Oh, she's fierce, huh? Yeah. And, cool. and then and she was doing everything really hard and amazing and I remember having that experience when I saw hair I remember being like who is that girl I can't stop looking at that one girl yes. in the ensemble thank you and then you became you who you are thank you I love that well we all start in the ensemble but most people no, but start I, in the ensemble I really believe in like like um star power and people who have sort of like an extra sparkle and you had that you. in hair thank you yeah it's really amazing that was really really it and was your abs looked amazing too yeah that was fun that's yeah. because we worked out I mean that show was such a workout yeah I mean I I think we ran, I ran off the stage up to the balcony and back like five times during that show and like had like 30 seconds to like run up, give a flyer and like be back on stage for like oh the God. button. And I was like, what? Yeah, Gavin Krill didn't have to do all that running. Because he knew. See, I didn't know. At that point, I was my first Broadway show and I was like, sure, I'll do it. I'll <laughs> do rub. it because I didn't know what eight shows a week. Now I'm like, no, thank you. <laughs> like, I'm good. I'll stand on the back. <laughs> while we're, while we're um, bragging about how great you are, well, I am at least, can we also talk about how much I loved you and if then. Oh, thanks, Paul. I mean, he came and saw me. I mean, was obviously, so it was it was the Adina Menzel musical. It was. It when, was the you know, Menzel I mean, it was musical. obviously Adina's big yeah. moment. Um, but you were her standby. Yes, I stood by for her. Right, and I remember. Uh, yeah, I did. I ran over to watch you do it yeah. because I heard you were going on. I was like, I'm gonna see Jackie do it, so and sweet. nailed it. Thank you. Nailed it was a it. great show. I loved doing yeah. that show. That was like. That was, and then you did the tour. I did the tour, yeah. I knew it was going to be amazing when they called me in about seeing my interest if I wanted to stand by for Adina. I was like, a musical written for Adina Menzel? Obviously, this music and the show is going to be amazing. Yes, I right. want to be a part of right. it. Right, right. Like you know that they're going to write great songs It's not going to be a slouch of a role. Sing. It's going to be a role. Like, <laughs> right. You know what I mean? I right. was like, yeah. yeah. But what was it like being the standby? And I don't know how, how often you went on, but obviously there were a lot of people in the audience that were there to see Adina. Oh, yeah. They were humming Let It Go. And, yeah. And, you know, they were like... Totally. <laughs> It was at the height of her. It was at the height of her success. It was right it was after the right Oscar after moment, the Oscars, and, and then it was. It was. She blew I mean, the Oscar up. moment happened. I think while it was in rehearsals, like yes. while it was in tech. Yeah. Like, so it was all right during that time. Yeah, it was crazy. Um, so what was it like navigating that? And and then what I've noticed in the past, and I will let you answer the question. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> what I've noticed in the past is that 
audiences love sort of discovering somebody they don't know, maybe doing something, or yeah. they, they kind of they might be disappointed, and then they're like, oh, that, that was exciting. Yes. Is that what you felt? Yeah, it was definitely, um, am I allowed to curse on this show? Okay, great. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Um, no, there's this song called What the Fuck. And oh, yeah. So oh, yeah. I, no, you know, a, if, if it's a classic Broadway lyric, you can It's a classic Broadway show. lyric. <laughs> we all know that classic What the Fuck. Um, but so it was around What the Fuck. I just want to say that as you much as I times. can. You said let's, let's, let's cut it off now. I'm, gonna, I'm cutting you off. <laughs> I was like, yes. No. Um, that that I, you would feel like the audience would be like, oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm on board with this girl now. But like, yeah, the first like. Well, because and especially the entrance because when yeah, the, how did oh, it God. open? You walk on stage. Hey, it's me. Hey, it's me. That's like, how it phone, started. Right? Yeah, on the phone. Like, hey, it's right. me. Right. And it was obviously a very cleverly written star moment for yeah, Zena to, to everyone really like, scream and get that over with. Yes. But then it was like, who? Yeah. And then it was like, That's <laughs> hey, it's me. And they're like, they're opening their playbill. Yeah. <laughs> I always want to be like, hey, it's me. Yeah. No, not her. Anyways, moving on. <laughs> get that elephant out of the room. <laughs> Yeah, that was my, that was my, I actually was so scared the very first time I was to go on. That was my biggest fear is that I was, people would like throw a shoe or something. Like, <laughs> they'd be like, no, like, and I, that literally was my biggest fear. I'd be like, hey, it's me. And, but that thankfully never had, no shoes was oh ever my, thrown oh at me. Thank I don't God. see any green on you, like makeup. <laughs> Uh, not much. No, you, you look, you're pretty clean. Well, I had yesterday off. Okay. okay. Yeah, so you I had did. a full day. I had a full day off yesterday, <laughs> okay. so I did wash my hair. You're welcome. Because normally it'll be like in your ear, under your nails. Oh, like, no. I guess, no, you wear gloves, right? There's, no, look. Oh, no, there it is. Yeah. Sorry. But normally, <laughs> I'm only, this is for you, normally I'm in a trucker hat and sweatpants looking homeless. Thank you for brushing your hair. I, <laughs> <You're that>. <laughs> <laughs> I, brushed, I brushed my hair for you and blew it out. Do you have any classic... Broadway musical theater dream roles? So many. I mean, you reacted to a lot of the news today, actually. Oh my God, I would love to do the Who's Tommy. Like, who wouldn't? That's like, uh, I would love to play Evita. I mean, who? Oh. What belter does not want yeah, to yeah, play yeah. Evita? Although, I do look like a man in drag with blonde hair, so like, that's going to be a problem. <laughs> But maybe we find the right blonde. You know what uh. I mean? Um, <laughs> mm, but I really, I really, 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 really want to originate something new. Yeah. That's like my biggest dream. Mm hmm. Is yeah. to like have somebody like write something for me and like with my voice in mind and like yeah 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 I'm well like, you know people in the industry I feel like when they they, they were you look at how many people from Wicked it's, I was actually thinking this the other day believe it or not this is what I think about in my fr in my spare time I was thinking <laughs> about how many people have gone from Wicked and yeah. like done amazing things yeah and it, it really is a great platform for oh. to show people yes I can hold down a show yes I can I mean it's an amazing acting role and yeah. a singing role and I mean it's it's a great role. Not yeah. a lot of tap dancing, but other than that, it's well, a lot. Well, I added that back in. Remember <laughs> that when that was in The Wizards? And the, I added, we, it's a little bit longer. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. No, there's no tap dancing. I used to tap, though. <laughs> so there's a role. I'm just kidding. Well, and, and I've seen you dance in, in hair. So, oh, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. Hey, Caitlin Gallup, hey. to the right of me. Are there any questions from Ooh, the fans? Okay, we are getting so many questions. Oh, Thank no. you all. Sure. A lot yeah. of people love you. Actually, so many people love you. Thanks, a lot guys. of people are seeing the show this week, so they can't wait to see you. Thanks, guys. Oh. And, but we do have some really great questions. All right, where Ooh. was... Somewhere some, underneath all the love, Somewhere there's some underneath questions. all the love. <laughs> Actually, I just saw one, and... I don't think we've ever gotten this wicked question before, so I'm excited. Ooh. Um, if Alphaba had a different color complexion, what would you want it to be? Ooh, Ooh that is such a good question. Ooh, what color would I, I want to like live look in? I feel like really good in like a magenta. Like a purplish yeah. color? Yeah, that, that I think, would be I think you would look good in that. Thank I'm just you. imagining no, that. No, I'd love that. But what are, like, what are purple, your... it would be, and purple is very regal. Yeah. yeah. But I don't want to answer the question for no, you. No, I was thinking like a purple blue, but I, I thought maybe it was because of this. Maybe that's maybe that like might be why I said it too. <laughs> like I was like, <laughs> because these purple colors behind feel us. really right, but that would be like really beautiful. Yeah, I, I would love beautiful. that. I think that'd be really fun. That's good. Let's go with that. I meant to. Maybe like a 13th anniversary change or something. Yeah, well, 15. Or 15, you're yeah, 15. 15, 15. Um, all right. If you could do a show with any former or present Alphaba, what show would you do and who would you do it with? Oh, my God. <gasps> Okay, well, I, there are so many women that I would love to do a show with because, I mean, I think every single woman is, like, so flipping amazing. But one of my best friends in the world is Dee Rossioli, and yes. I love her more than life itself, and I would do any show with her. Any show. <laughs> Literally any. We Dee actually Rossioli. talk about it all the time. We're like, we just want to be in a show together. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, 
sideshow where we could stand and hold each other's hands all night would be great. You know. I wanted to conceive of. I shouldn't give up ideas on no, live do it. TV. That's right. But I wanted to conceive of some sort of like. <laughs> concert show with alphabas yes because you know people there's so many alphabas people love and there's and they're all good singers and yeah i mean i'm into it i'm into i don't it know too. what it is i'm gonna think about it <laughs> he's gonna produce it too I'll everybody you know. buy your tickets i'll let you know jackie <laughs> <laughs> is there anything else all right what was the last audition song you sang oh. <gasps> what was the last audition so- like um, audition for an actual show or well, like a lot of times you have to book? sing the material yeah yeah, yeah. i guess what's in your show. book What's in my book? Yeah, like what's sort of your go-to audition? What, what do you love to when you want to show off your voice and not sing, you know, Wicked? I sing <laughs> the same song for every audition, whether it's country, pop, or traditional, and it's inappropriate probably for half of the things I sing it for. <laughs> but I sing this song called Hippie Life from Hair. Oh, um, yes. And I had it like ri- written out for me, so because there is no sheet music for it's it. Like, it was, it's like a cut song. Yeah, right? it was yeah. a cut from, song, right. and um, they did a concert version of it like. 15 years ago okay. and Eden Espinosa sang oh, it, sang okay. it down and uh, speaking of uh, yeah, can alpha sing. people love to hear sing yeah she can sing <laughs> um, and I like gave it to somebody on a CD and was like can you transcribe this and it's like literally 32 bars because I always sing less is more I always sing huh. I never, I'm never one of those people that's like giving you a two minute audition piece. I'm giving you 32. <laughs> you blow them out of the chair. Bar, so that I'm like, bah. <laughs> that's, <amazing. laughs> that's it. See ya. And then you drop, and yeah, you and drop then, something. No, I'm just kidding. You yeah. drop your phone. I don't know. Yeah. And then I go, thanks. Awesome. <laughs> that's amazing. <laughs> All right. And final question. This is a good one. Ooh. Kiana Emmett says, hey, Jackie, Hi. I'm a huge fan from Australia. I'm 16 and I've got an audition for my first lead in a musical this weekend. Ooh. Do you have any advice? Um, prepared being prepared is the number one thing because you will get nervous no matter what no matter what stage of the game you're at and half of the stuff that you think you know will fly out of your right. brain so yeah. the more prepared you can be the better you're going to have a chance of actually having a good time in the room and how old were you when you first went in to like do a musical um my very first musical was I was in a children's theater. I played Maleficent in Sleeping Beauty <laughs> when I was 13. Good stuff. And that was the only musical I did until I went to college. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Isn't that weird? That I didn't really weird. do musicals. Yeah. Yeah. Guess what you do now? I do now. <laughs> <laughs> and we love that. Uh, I could talk to you forever, but this Thanks, is a short Paul. show. So uh, <laughs> thank you, Jackie, for coming by. Thanks. You have to go get green. I do. Yeah. yeah. So she's, she'll be green shortly. <laughs> Um, you can come out whenever you want. Thanks. Just give us a little notice. Okay. And everyone, go see Wicked. It's at the Gershwin Theater. I feel like I could probably say that sentence for many more years to come. Yes, never going away. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? All right. Thank you all so much for watching Live at Five today. Um, we loved having Jackie on as a guest. And um, if you want to listen to this um, interview again, you can listen to our podcast, the Live at Five podcast, right after this. Um, go to iTunes, go to Google Play. Go wherever you get your podcast and find it. Um, And tune in tomorrow as we are hanging out with Melanie Moore from Hello Dolly. So get excited. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye, y'all.